What's up everyone, this is Grim Reap Sage here with a guide for the boss, the Glintstone Dragon Smarag, I guess it's pronounced. So as usual, I've included what I'm running, so uh, it will be changing soon, but at the moment it's two great axes, one with Golden Veil. Vale. Golden Veil vale is really great, it uses quite a bit of FP, um, but it gives you attack and defense bonus for like 40 odd seconds. So this one you need to, I'm not entirely sure if you need to actually kill this dragon. Um, I think you could probably get lucky and sneak around it. Basically it's sleeping in front of the glint stone key which you need to get inside the magic area like the magic school. So you do need to come here. Um, I've included where it is but this one's kind of good because it's open world this fight you have a lot more range. Um, FYI though, he does hit like a truck, and if he breathes on you, it it kills you like damn near instantly. And uh, yeah, so basically, what I did, like normal, um, is I popped a random uh, buff on my weapon. I think this is the Scarlet Rot one. Um, again, it's just basically any grease I can make or have, just because extra damage, why not, you know. Um, pop the jellyfish, because jellyfish is good. Doesn't do a great deal of damage, but it's more just, it tends to aggro the enemies, and the enemies go for it, which obviously backs off. As you can see right there, it damn near one, it one shots you almost. I mean, if it breathes on you. So I, I included that, because I thought, you know, some of the bosses are a bit awkwarder than what you think. There's multiple easier ways to deal with it. Yeah, you can range it out. You can stay on your horse. You can do all that. Um, but yeah, so obviously that was a bit annoying because it killed us. But yeah, basically the best thing to do is run up to it, pop all your buffs, do whatever. Either stay on your horse or swap and change either or. Um, or you could just try to grab the item and get the hell out of dodge. But I wanted to kill him. Um, and then because I'm using a dual great axes build for me I literally just stand in between their legs or as close to their butt and just jump smash jump smash jump smash um, as that seem as that basically is what my build is all about it does a massive amount of damage and generally you are pretty hidden from a lot of enemies a lot of bosses moves yeah, if you stay up in their face, you can easily just roll through it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, so I'm trying again with another blood rot. Um, so smack him, try to hit him in the head if you can, does a bit more damage. But yeah, just literally in between his legs, smack, bring him down, run up to his eye, do the old crit damage, get back under, rinse and repeat. And that's it. And then if your jellyfish dies, jellyfish dies. It's more just to sort of, you know, for some reason, all the bosses seem to hate your summons. So, you know, whether they do any damage or don't, it's just more, it makes it almost as if you're playing online with someone, you know. Um, but hopefully you find this video helpful. More than willing to help as best I can. Chop it in the comments. Do my best to help. As always, please like, share and subscribe. It helps massively so I'm trying to grow my channel and everything else. And until the next video, I shall speak to you all then.